Andalusia, which borders the southern coast of Spain, has a very interesting history. It's an autonomous region within unified Spain, which roughly correlates to the historic lands and kingdoms of the area. Research has established that Neanderthals have been living in this region as recently as 30,000 years ago. Recorded history shows various tribes living here from around 5,000 BC. And then the Romans, 200 years before Christ was born, invaded and for the next 200 years fought for control. When finally victorious, they ruled for the next 450 years leaving many architectural ruins that are still standing throughout the region. Italica, which is near Seville, was a Roman city founded soon after invading by the Roman commander Publius Cornelius Scipio. It was the first major Roman city in Andalusia and was used to settle victorious veterans who fought against Hannibal, the Cartagenian general. The families of Emperors Hadrian, who built the 73-mile coast-to-coast -coast wall in northern England, and Trajan, who expanded the Roman Empire to its maximum extent, originally came from Italica. Many of mosaics from homes of wealthy Romans have been restored. And work still continues today. North of Italica is Merida. Which was established as a Roman colony by Augustus, the first emperor of Rome. This is how Merida looked during its height. It was the most important Roman city in the Iberian Peninsula, as Spain and Portugal were known as during this period. These are models of the two original aqueducts which supplied the city with water. Remains of one of these aqueducts are still standing. But are now used by storks for nesting. Merida's Colosseum was built a hundred years before Rome's. Although ten times smaller, it certainly witnessed its share of gladiatorial combat. The theater was constructed next to the Colosseum. It's one of the most well-preserved Roman theaters in Spain, and was very impressive originally. This was a religious building, originally called Temple of Diana. It was also used by public authorities to address the citizenry. It's now known it was dedicated to the goddess Roma and the Emperor Augustus. There's a recently excavated foundation of a very large home belonging to a wealthy Roman citizen. Many preserved mosaics have been uncovered. Including interesting frescoes. Other Roman remains include the theater in Cartagena, which was built just before Christ was born. The remains were discovered in 1988 and underwent restoration. 
which was completed in 2003. They're seating for 6,000 spectators. The Roman theater in Malaga is located below a palatial Muslim fortification. Many of the columns and carved stones were later taken to build the fort above. In Cordoba, this massive gate was constructed at the entrance to the longest original Roman bridge. Built in the first century, it was reconstructed by the Moors to its current length. The Visigoths invaded Iberia after the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 475 AD. They were Christians and ruled Iberia for the next 250 years. These churches are several of the few remaining Visigothic structures in Spain. The Muslim Moors gained control from the Visigoths for the next 800 years, a legacy that still dominates much of the architecture of Andalusia. This was originally a Moorish fort in Seville. Subsequent Moorish kings added a palace. It was later reclaimed by Catholic kings who continued to add structures. This marked the beginning of a new era, one under which elements of Gothic, Renaissance, and Romanesque design were combined with the original Islamic structure, leading to the unique blend of styles known as Muhidar. The adjacent gardens are the most original representation of a truly Hispanic style, which, from their Moorish origins, have undergone continual transformation, especially during the Renaissance. Northeast of Seville is the Great Mosque of Cordoba. Originally constructed by the founder of a Muslim dynasty, that ruled for the next 300 years. It was enlarged over the next several centuries, making it one of the largest sacred buildings in the Islamic world. The building has 856 pillars, which were made from pieces of a Roman temple that once occupied the site. The unique double arch design allowed for a higher ceiling. The entire structure forms a vast 258,000 square foot rectangle, which is slightly smaller than St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. The Alhambra in Granada has the most famous Moorish architectural remains in Andalusia. It's a complex of palaces, an adjacent fortress, and spectacular gardens. It was originally constructed as a small fort on the remains of Roman fortifications. It was rebuilt and palaces added by the Moorish rulers. After the Christians gained control, Emperor Charles V, the King of Spain, added this palace as the first major royal residence of the Spanish monarchs. The adjacent fortress is the oldest part of the Alhambra. It was used by the Moorish rulers until their palaces were finished. Manicured gardens in Arab culture are the representation of the longing for paradise. The water features ensure the abundance of vegetation. Together, they are seen as a place where man can achieve full satisfaction. The Muslim fort in Merida was built over a previous Roman stronghold and was the first Muslim fortification in Iberia.
It was used to check pedestrian traffic and goods into the city from the adjacent Roman bridge. This building is what remains of a mosque, built above a tunnel using Roman stone and blocks. It led to a water cistern, which ensured a constant flow of water from the adjacent river. The picturesque hilltop town of Rhonda is set dramatically above a deep gorge. These are the well-preserved remains of Moorish baths. They have a similar design perfected by the Romans, except that steam was used instead of soaking in hot water. The baths were also a place to stop, purify, and cleanse before entering a mosque. There's a Muslim bridge in the valley below the city above which is the old Roman bridge. And this new bridge, which connects the old with the new town. Remains of the original Arab walls still protect the city. The palatial fortress in Balaga was built on the ruins of a Roman garrison. This model shows how it looked when it was completed. Built on a hilltop, it overlooks the port and the surrounding town below. It combines its defensive purpose with the beauty of an Arab palace and is organized around appealing patios bubbling fountains, and manicured gardens. Pablo Picasso, the world-famous painter, was born in Malaga. He's known not only for his imaginative paintings, a style he developed known as analytic cubism, but also for his unique sculpture. The Catholic monarchs Isabella of Castile and Ferdinand of Aragon ended Moorish rule in the 15th century and united Iberia into what we know today as Spain. To celebrate the victory, Queen Isabella commissioned the construction of this beautiful cathedral in Granada. It took 180 years to construct and is a masterpiece of Spanish Renaissance style. also a local talent showing off his ingenuity. The giant Gothic cathedral in Seville city center is the largest of its kind in the world. Built on the site of a former mosque, it includes a very realistic depiction of Christ. It was not only intended to display the prestige and wealth of Seville, but also Christianity's triumph over the vanquished Moorish kings. Rising high above the great mosque of Cordoba and carved out of its very center is another stunning Renaissance cathedral. Constructed over several centuries by various Christian monarchs, it was also built to highlight the greatness of Christianity. Andalusia is known for these unusual limestone rock formations. The whole area was under sea until a hundred million years ago when violent movement on the Earth's crust forced it upward. Over the millions of years, the rain and wind chiseled away at these layers to form the most beautiful and impressive limestone landscapes in Europe. The Della Pileta cave was discovered by a farmer 
searching for bat guano to fertilize his land. He found not only numerous unique formations, such as stalactites and stalagmites, but also many paintings and engravings, which archaeologists believe were created between 20 and 25,000 years ago. Andalusia is home to Jerez de la Frontera, the beautiful city near the west coast. It's known for producing excellent cherries. It's also famous for its dancing horses. and for their acrobatic skills. Olive trees are Andalusia's main crop. There are over 165 million trees, which are found throughout the region. They were originally planted by the Romans to make olive oil, continue to expand under Islamic rule, and flourish today. Gibraltar is a giant rock at the very southern tip of Andalusia. It was ceded to Britain under the terms of the Treaty of Utrecht of 1713 and is still controlled by Britain today. It's also home to Barbary macaque, which are tailless monkeys thought to have been brought to this area as pets by the Moors. If you're interested in traveling to these memorable places, Go on an African safari. Discover the mystery of the Inca. Or snorkel the Great Barrier Reef. Contact Elaine Randolph at the following numbers. She's a professional travel consultant who specializes in custom travel adventures.